Hello everyone, this is Doug, and I'm going to try to take this video and show you how to take your NMR file and get it into Mestranova and then to process it so you get all of the relevant information about your NMR spectrum in a nice form that you can put into your um, lab reports. So goal, goal is under 10 minutes here. So the first thing you need to do is to get your file. So you're going to go up to the file menu, go to open. Um, you'll go find wherever you saved your file or if you use a thumb drive or the network drive or whatever, you're going to go find it wherever you put it. Uh, I'm just going to grab one of my recent files because I have them open. And so here's my NMR. Boom. I've got all these different peaks. I have a whole bunch of dead space on the left and right. So the first thing I like to do is get rid of that. I like to, to just cut it out. So I'm going to go over to view. And in view, there is a tool called the cut tool. When I click on this and then I click and drag, everything that I drag is going to be deleted. So I'm, I'm clicking and dragging. I'm holding the button still. And when I release the button, it gets deleted. And so I'll do the same thing on the right-hand side. This goes all the way out to negative 2. I don't need out to negative 2. I just need to keep 0. So I'm going to drag and pull over to the right-hand the right -hand side also. So now I've got kind of a little bit more of a zoomed-in view. Really just the important peaks are there. I am not going to delete in the middle, okay? I'm leaving the middle gap. That's just a gap, so be it. But I'd, we can cut it on the left and right, but please don't cut it in the middle. Other things to do, um, this is just kind of nitpicky, but I don't want the file name up there for me personally, so I'm going to right-click and go to Properties. I want that kind of cleaned up. Um, under General, it has the title. I don't want the title, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unclick that box, press Apply. Now it just kind of cleans it up for me a little bit. Other things you can do in this, you don't have to go hog wild. If you like the grid, you can keep it. If you don't like the grid, you can get rid of it. So now there's no grid behind it. The scales, we don't really care about the vertical scale, so we can just like get rid of the vertical scale. We just really need the bottom scale. So you got, again, kind of like a cleaner looking NMR here. Now, first thing we need to do before we start processing is to reference this sucker. So I, you go to analysis, we're gonna go over to reference, and what you do is you hover over a peak and you tell the software what the solvent was that you used for your NMR. It doesn't know if it was chloroform or deuterated uh, DMSO or acetone or whatever, but I know that I used chloroform for this. So I'm gonna click on this peak, which is near 7.24. Chloroform is usually given 7.26 or 27. So I'm gonna click on this and reference it. So it's gonna shift all the peaks so that chloroform is exactly where it's supposed to be. So I clicked on that, you click on solvents, and then you go find your solvent. In our case, chloroform, there's a whole long list. I'm gonna pick chloroform because I put it in chloroform. I know it's chloroform. So I say, okay, Every, watch the peaks. Everything's gonna shift slightly now when I press okay. Think they all shifted a little, a little bit. So now that is chloroform and it's at 7.26. Now I want to start labeling. I need to start telling the program what in fact are peaks that belong to my, um, my molecule. I know that the chloroform peak does not belong to my molecule. And I actually also know that this one around here about 1.56, that's actually water. I just had some water in my chloroform. Uh, I know that that's not part of my, my molecule, but everything else is. So I'm going to go, I'm still in the analysis tab. I'm going to go over to peak picking. You can try auto peak picking. Sometimes it grabs things you don't want, or you can use a threshold or you can grab them manually. Uh, I'm going to do the threshold one where again, you drag and drop and everything below the pink line is going to get picked up. So I don't want it to get water, but I want it to get everything else. So I'm going to do that. And then it tells you where everything is. So you can report these values as being, oh, this is at 7.92 versus 7.90. So I've got some peaks picked. Great. I also need to integrate, right? Remember that the integrations are the areas underneath those curves. We can integrate these so that I know what the ratio of the hydrogens are in all these signals. Now, right now, it's, I'm kind of zoomed out. I want to get a little closer view. So not under analysis, but underneath the view tab, you can click on that and there's a zoom in, zoom out, view the whole spectrum. There's all these different buttons here. I'm going to click zoom in. And what that does is wherever I click and drag, that's where it's going to zoom in. So I want to see, I just want to see all this closer. So I'm going to zoom in right here, release. That's my NMR spectrum much, much, much closer. Now that I can see it better, I'm going to go ahead and do these integration things. Again, you can use auto integrals that do the auto integration, but um, sometimes it's not great. I like to just be real, I like, you know, I like, I'm a control freak. I want to do it the way I want to do it. So I'm picking over here this button, which is to do it manually. And you just want to drag and click over from shoulder to shoulder from where it's flat to where it's flat of your whole peak. And every time you do this, the first time, it's going to say that that one is one. It automatically sets it to one and then everything else is some ratio to that. So here, oh, this is exactly the same, exactly the same, 
Oh, see, I accidentally did chloroform here. I didn't mean to do chloroform. Chloroform is not part of my molecule, so I need to delete that. If I want to delete it, I go stay back in this integration area, but there's a button that called delete manually. So I'm going to click on that, select the one I want to delete. Boom, now I've gotten rid of that, that um, integral. And then I can highlight this part. That's 0.99 again, about 0.1. So I've now taken the integrations of all of the peaks in my molecules here. But I have more, I need to zoom back out. So if you go back up to your view tab, you can click zoom out or you can click the full spectrum button. I'm gonna click on the full spectrum button so I can see the whole spectrum again. And now I'm gonna zoom in on the other side so I can see this stuff better. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Uh, my quartet, that looks good. So I'm gonna do the analysis. I'm going to do, click the integration button and drag over. Water was not selected, great. I've got a triplet here. Oh, you know what, this triplet, the, the program is picking up four peaks, but I only see three. That's definitely a triplet, right? Like a one to two to one ratio. So I'm actually gonna fix that. Um, I'm gonna go to zoom in on just this. What peak is it picking up? It's accidentally picking up a peak over here, but I don't think it should. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that peak. So I'm going back over to analysis. For going over to the peak part, it says delete peaks right here, manually delete. And I'm just gonna delete that peak here. That's, that's not really a peak. There we go. So that peak is selected, that peak is selected, that peak is selected. That all looks good now. So back to view. I'm going to zoom out. Just want to look at these friends again. And that looks like the last integral I need to do is the one I just fixed, that triplet. So that looks like a 3H triplet. So I've done the integrations. I reference it, and I, now I know the peaks, where the, the PPMs, where they all show up. I'm going to go back out to this full spectrum here. And then, still an analysis. So I also want to know, like, the, the instrument will tell me, like, do you have a triplet? Do you have a quartet? Do you have a doublet? Do you have a doublet of doublets? It'll tell you all of that information. And all you have to do, once you've gotten this far, all you have to do is just auto multiplet analysis. So you just click on this, and it's going to tell you, like, oh, look, this is a doublet. This is a quartet. This is a triplet. So it's just telling you, what these peaks are, you know, what's their multiplicity, what's their, um, what's their splitting. And then I think the last thing that we will do is have it report these numbers to us. And so I'm still in this multiple analysis part. If you click on this little pink square and hover over it, it says report, mul report multiplets. If you click on that now, it's going to give you this, which is exactly what you want to report in your experimental sections, right? This is what we report when we publish NMR data in uh, scientific journals. You're going to have HNMR. Um, I used a 600 megahertz for this one. You're going to use a 60 megahertz. Chloroform was my solvent. And then it's going to tell you, right, where's the peak? It's a doublet, some coupling constants, and then it's a 1H peak. And then it goes on. That's a doublet of doublets. That's a 1H peak. This very last one is a T for triplet. It's a 3H peak, right? So you're just going to, you're just going to report all of this. So this is what a processed NMR is going to end up looking like. Um, you could then go up to file and then s export it to a PDF. So you have a PDF of it. You can go and print it in lab, but you definitely want to have a copy of this. I recommend you save it as a PDF and you print a hard copy for yourself so that you can report this in your lab. And that is how you process your NMR using Mestronova.